everyone and welcome back to my channel. So it's actually been forever since I filmed, but I'm going to do my top makeup products of 2020. So without further ado, let's just get started. I'm going to start with base products. Theo is scratching in his box again and my makeup is all ready for work today. That's why I'm not properly dressed. But my first one is the Revolution Glass Skin Primer. If you love an, a, like a glowy, dewy finish that also keeps your makeup on and your face hydrated all day, I highly recommend this. For some reason, I think the bottle is really pretty because it's like aesthetically pleasing. But yeah, this is £10. I highly recommend it. I also love the MUA one. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a dupe or anything, but it does give such a dewy finish and it is great for summertime. I couldn't just choose one foundation, so I've picked two. My first one is the L'Oreal Infallible. I cannot hype this up enough for anyone who asks me what a good foundation is. I actually sold a girl this the other day, like sold her one at work, because it is so good. I highly re recommend it to a lot of people or anyone that has dry skin. It is 24 hour, it doesn't come off like if you're working and stuff throughout the day. Um, I got mine in 140 because obviously I wear fake tan. I probably should get one lighter for the winter in case I'm not tanned. Um, but this is full coverage, it's buildable. Um, it doesn't feel like you're caked in it. It also gives a natural flawless finish, not a caked flawless finish, which is one of the reasons I love it. And this was 10 pound, I believe. And I'm definitely gonna keep repurchasing this. I actually have another foundation, the L'Oreal one in my drawer, ready to use when I actually bother to fake tan. The next one is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. A lot of people have mixed opinions on this, but personally, I worked with it really well. This was like five pound from Beauty Bay in Golden Beige because I'm obviously tanned. Um, I've got it on today, mixed in with the MUA Pro Base. It's such a flawless finish. I just needed to lighten it because I haven't tanned. Um, it's also another lightweight one with a good coverage. I highly recommend this for dry skin. It doesn't dry it out. It's warm toned. I literally cannot fault it and it doesn't go patchy throughout the day. Neither of these foundations oxidize, which is just what I needed. So for concealer, I don't wear concealer as a base at all. I use it for more carving up my brows and if I have a few spots and want a natural look than that or like if it's more showable through my foundation, then I'll pop it on, which is very rare. My foundation does the job on its own, but I will reach for the Maybelline Fit Me. It is very well loved. It has no label left. This is in the shade 20. I got this in like clearance. There was nothing wrong with it, but it cost me like £2. Um, I've had this a while, I should probably try and make the most of it. It's still got so much product in it. This has lasted me like forever. Um, I think it's £6 normally or £5. But <clears throat> it's very good coverage. It's very natural. It's not thick and heavy under the eye either. I use it mainly to carve my brows out. But I cannot fault this concealer. COVID. I got a cough. I'm joking. Um, the next one, I don't use concealer as I just said. And the next one I use as a base, but it is a concealer, is the Conceal and Define by Makeup Revolution, the Infinite One in CO, which is a pure white base. And these are around six pound, but they are so good if you're doing pastel makeup like I, what I've got on today. They are very good as a base. They definitely bring your colors up more. I even use it with like a normal base if I'm just doing like bold colors, just because it brings out my pigment. It blends it better. It stays on all day. It's the perfect perfect base for like eyeshadow if you don't want to spend loads of money on eyeshadow primer which to be honest I find pretty pointless considering concealer does such an amazing job blusher wise I've really got into blush lately again I've always been a blusher girl I know a lot of my friends actually don't wear it you're missing out girls honestly it gives such a natural gorgeous glow and I am loving the collection cheek and eye tin I thought it was a lip but it's like rubbed off the cheek and eye tint it's the you do you one it reminds me of the glossier ones a little bit this is such a natural tint i do have it on today it's very dewy very glowy just nice and natural it doesn't look too pink doesn't look too red if that makes sense it is literally the perfect tint and these are 4.99 and i literally cannot get enough like i'm genuinely gonna repurchase this this is in bare too because i like the more nude type one instead of the more pink tone one with my skin tone and yeah so if my boss is watching this, this is my boot polish as she calls it. Um, for my brows, I have always sworn by the Revolution Brow Pomade. I use the shade Graphite, which is basically black. Very, very dark brown. I'm not sure if it is black. This is a new one. As you can see, I've barely used it recently because I picked up a new one again. Oh, I've lost the lid. Where'd it go? And it wanted to dry out. I've got it. So this is six pound, I wanna say, and I see a lot of girls buy this. I swear I buy it. It makes my brows fleeky as, um, 
I don't suit soap brows. And the Anastasia pomade is a waste of money. It smudges, it's expensive. And I just honestly don't like the look of it. It is so watery. I love ones like this so you can shape your brows properly with a fine brush. I highly recommend this for anyone learning to do their brows. Oh yeah, I've literally used that brow pomade for like four years now. So if that doesn't show from experience, I'm not new to it. And another one this year is new. So this year has been a bit crappy, but eyeshadows, they still be popping. Those companies still be like sending them out, doing their bit. Um, the Beauty Bay brand came through with their pastels palette. I highly recommend this. Anyone looking for a dupe for the Morph Icy or just pastels in general, this was £10. It's got your perfect sort of pastel shade you need. I have Euphoria on today, which is the pink. How funny, I love Euphoria. Um, this one's a struggle. It doesn't come out as much, like the payoff isn't great, but the rest of these shades are insane. I've done so many looks with them. I pretty much use it every day. I get so many compliments on it. It is just perfect for spring and summer, and I'm probably gonna low-key still do it in winter, but this pink is literally my dream pink. I'm so glad I bought this palette because it is adorable, and it makes such a gorgeous rainbow look as well and for £10 it is so worth the money it oh it blends a dream and it's perfectly for travel size as well so yeah I don't see why you shouldn't go and grab this I'm gonna pop that down there I was just having a think I don't remember the last time I actually did like a neutral look I've been going more bold and pastel because the customers love it at work I enjoy doing it makes me feel good anyway the next one this is my baby right here this is the morph icy fantasy this i got back in february it's a daily use one it is very well loved we are hitting pan if anyone knows a dupe for this shade that isn't gonna cost me an arm and a leg hit me up and i will like low-key love you forever because this is my favorite palette ever um this was 24 pound it's beautiful i know it is very well loved these are my two favorite shades why is this one leaked a bit or is it the blue there we go um the glitter is insane on it looks amazing in photos the purple anyone asking what purple i use on a daily a lot of you ask and compliment it is this one here it is the best palette i'm definitely going to repurchase if i feel the need to and run out of any more shades in it because it is so incredible the packaging is insane like look at that it's just literally me and a palette i honestly have been waiting for a pastel palette to come up for so long and morph they came through of it like yeah i cannot fault it and it is so pigmented blends a dream again i am obsessed like there is no faults about this palette whatsoever my last favorite palette this is bomb as thank you mum for getting this on my birthday for me this is the beauty bay bright matte 42 color palette so they've bought a new one out i believe that looks kind of snazzy as well but it has shimmers in it this is completely matte you can literally create like your own little world with this palette it has every color in it you could need it's massive. The mirror is bomb as for one. I hope that's not coming out. Oh my god, it is. Um, yeah, you literally can't go wrong with it. It has everything in it. Like, I love this colour again. I'm loving the mint greens. I'm just so drawn to this palette. I use this pink quite a lot as well for anyone asking. It is incredible. Like, I honestly could create so many looks with it. In it was like £23, I want to say, for that as well. And the pigment is insane. My next purchase for palettes, or the one I really want, is the um, Carnival Palette by BH Cosmetics. It looks insane, and I see so many makeup artists using it, and I just feel the need to try it, because everyone is literally raving about it. So that is on my wish list for anyone that knows me. It is insane. Go check it out. On the subject of, subject of eyeshadow, I have two little glitters to show you because I think they're amazing. The first one is Elf dropped a line of liquid eyeshadow. This goes with most of my looks. If you see white glitter on my Instagram, it's most likely this Elf one in Disco Queen. These are £5. I'm going to try and swatch it for you guys because it is a gorgeous white glitter. Um... I've gone through like two of these now. I'm low-key going through the second one. Um, I cannot fault these. I definitely want to try the black glitter for more winter time to do like a black liner, glitter liner kind of thing. Let me know what you think because I'm really scared of using black eyeshadow and black liner and dark colours. Um, that terrifies me. Most people are scared of bright colours, but not me. And the other one is the Collection Gra Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Liner. This is in... Oh my god. I swear it has a shade name, Cosmic Stars. Again, this is another white glitter, which I actually have on at the moment. It's got a lilac -y blue undertone. It is gorgeous. For those who are loving Euphoria, this is perfect for your makeup look with the tears and stuff that Rue wore. Um, it is amazing. It's, I can't even think what it's a dupe for, but 
it's like four pound just buy yourself this and you'll be amazed like there is no faulting this i wear it with basically every makeup look i top it up on top of cut creases everything i'm literally gonna go through so many of these in the next like year probably because i cannot get enough for those girls out there who just like a little bit of mascara but still like to look bomb ass, I recommend the Maybelline Lash Lift. This is on Star by this week in Superdrug for £7. Just going to point that out there because it's a good offer. It's normally £10.99. I got mine on offer a few months ago. I think during lockdown, one of the girls at work recommended it to me. Thank you, Carmel, for recommending this because it is insane. I have no eyelashes. Like, they're really short, basically, and really thick. So I picked this up. The wand, yeah, the wand's a little bit scary looking. Unfortunately, this one is drying out. Um, it gives you volume. It gives you length. I don't wear lashes normally on my days of work. So I've started wearing this. And the difference it's made, like, my girlfriend noticed. And she was like, babe, your lashes are growing. I'm like... I know um i literally use it every day it's so good for volume length like they were not lying in their advert on maybelline like yeah this is so worth the buy we all know i have a fetish for highlighters yes fetish i'm obsessed but i gotta pick my one i just wanted to do one this year for my favorites and this is the rake up revolution loose highlighter in ice diamond it is insane like this is bomb ass this is toned down like this isn't even yeah the whole thing it is so pigmented i wonder if there's any in here so i could swatch if you guys oh my god if you love a white highlighter like a proper icy bougie look this is the one for you and it also has little bits of glitter in it so it's gorgeous to wear it lasts all day a lot of people always ask what highlighter i'm wearing 90 percent of the time it will be that one i rarely change up my highlighter at the moment because i'm just so obsessed with it and if i run out i'm probably gonna cry but it is amazing. Loose highlighters literally are winning at the moment. So we have a new release and we also have a new lipstick. So Makeup Revolution just dropped another shade in Shofa, another formula in Shofa. You guys know I love that nude shade. Look at the cute packaging. I love this. These are five pound. They're super chunky, but I like them. Um, that's quite a nice amount of product. I'm gonna swatch this lipstick. I do have it on at the moment, just so you guys can see it on my hand. It is a gorgeous product. I love the shade. It's your perfect nude shade. A lot of people have been buying these. I recommend picking them up. There are so many different shades, but this is down, down by far my favorite. That made no sense, but yeah, you get the gist. This is my favorite. I have it in so many different formulas. Um, I'm definitely gonna keep repurchasing it, and I have really dry skin from all this hand gel at work. Like, I'm not okay. But go grab yourself this lipstick and make yourself feel bomb ass. So before I go on to this next one, I'm possibly, possibly as I might, be getting my lips done. Um, do you want me to vlog it? Do I film it? Do I film the experience? Do I talk about the experience? Let me know in the comments. I want to know what you guys think. Um, yeah, I'm very tempted. But talking of lip plumping, I've got the Barian that swell here because this literally gives you bombers and juicy lips. It definitely plumps your lips and for £5 you've got so many different shades, you don't just have to have clear. I picked up the nude one here, I do have the clear one. This definitely plumps my lips, it does tingle a bit, it also smells quite nice. Like, the smell's kind of a fruity peppermint, I don't even know, it's a weird scent but it's really nice. Um, this is in the shade Get It, which is like a nudie pinky color i don't know but i love the clear one as well that's another one i'm definitely gonna be repurchasing if i sadly run out okay tiktok hyped this one up so i picked up and i've got to say i am very impressed i love it this is the barry m lip liner in toast again perfect nude eye eyeliner perfect nude lip liner um i literally am obsessed with it it's the perfect combo with the lipstick i showed you earlier on it's a little bit darker which isn't an issue because you're overlining your lips like or how I overline mine, I don't know. But yeah, this is so good and it's like three, four pounds. So you literally cannot go wrong with this. I'm obsessed. I highly recommend this to anyone. And also I just wanted to say the setting spray, I wanted to show you guys, I've unfortunately ran out of. I do have a few here, but they're not as bomb as the NYX Dewy Finish. Definitely kept my makeup all day. It is worth the money. I know they're small bottles, but if you want your makeup to stay in place, go pick that up. It is so good. Also, before I end this video, can we pre that I went out of my comfort zone with a floating liner today for work and I'm actually kind of proud of how it came out. Also, anyway, I don't even know what's going on here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, 2020 was a massive flop, so they were my makeup products for you all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.